And we are back. Order restored. Double eight. 40. Treble, single, double. There's the treble. There's the single. And there's the double. That is an absolutely perfect Shanghai finish. Grand Slam. This is a PDC qualifying event. It's not like when Glenn Durrant, who is a PDC player, competed as the BDO or WDF World Champion, 64. where it didn't go on his ranking. This would go on Lisa's ranking. It could help her keep her tour card if she can get there. Claire Stamper has left 120 12. again. I'm going to return to that point in a moment because I'm going to offer the alternative vision. Stamper, though, looking to produce the same thing that she did a couple of legs ago. To hit tops a third time running. Oh, this is absolutely incredible from Claire Stamper. 78, treble 18 was the target there. And that was for treble 14. And unfortunately, if Stamper can leave tops, you know the rest. She has to go single eight. <laughs> okay, double 16. Double eight. And she hits it anyway. It is an absolutely brilliant, inspired spell of finishing from Claire Stamper. Checkouts of 120, 76, 120, and 48 to win it. She didn't even need top. She can't hamper the Stamper. Oh, after the first weekend, it would have taken a bit of a miracle for her not to have made the World Championship. But right now, she knows she's in everything. So just wonder if we will see... Well, which effect we will see with really? even more freedom, which allows an even better game, or might we see the foot come off the gas a little bit? Well, it's interesting. No, she was looking at four 19s and potentially a, a dart at the ball to get to a finish there, but Mikuru is not really put under any pressure on this 1-3-5. I'll come back to that point. Now then, where are we looking? It's going to be 19s, 15s. What's the plan? Oh, yeah, how about this for double top? Oh, what a shot, Mikuru Suzuki. Bullseye 45 tops, and Mikuru Suzuki plucks out the 135. Then puts her uh, almost neck and neck with Lisa in the race for that second Grand Slam spot. Double eight again. I think she thought it was in. 25. Now, these are the sorts of shots that Fallon Sherrick has proven to be particularly adept at and she's just not quite at it at the moment she's still averaging sort of around 80, 80. it's not poor performance but Mikura Suzuki started this leg with back to back ton 40s on throw you're going to get opportunities if you score like that and she is taking her opportunities because it's another 16 dart leg and Mikura Suzuki the two time ladies world champion averaging almost 90 Line how brilliantly Fallon and Lisa have done to consistently perform so well in the first three days of the women's series. She's going to get a go for the match. 81. 106. One treble, one single, one double. There's the treble. Single follows for double 18. 70. And she moved the wire. Can Fallon find something? To save her skin. Double 16. What a shot from Fallon Sherrick. She has survived a match dart and plucked out that ton plus checkout. Over in Japan and Hong Kong and China playing on the circuit there. She just is so steady. So rock solid and she's left the 120 checkout. Fallon is on a two darter. A similar feel to the last leg. It's a treble single double combination. This time the single's found first, but she fails to find the treble. So Fallon Sherrick now gets her opportunity to win this first round match. And she will get a chance. Can she find a way to the double? She can. That is absolutely stunning from Fallon Sherrick. She was pushed to the brink and Mikura Suzuki was a dart away from becoming just the second person to beat Sherrick in the women's series behind Lisa Ashton. But drag darts low or let them go high. But Laura Turner could end this with a 15 dart. She's gone right back to that solid treble 20 hitting phase. Double 16 for a 4 1 win. 65. More chances incoming, though. Have you noticed the response, Dan? 
the clock, and she looks like she's playing against it most of the time. 40. The time might be up here. Let's turn it. Takes aim with that double 16 again. And this time she does finish the job. It's a 4-1 success. Her average will only say 80 at the end of the match, but it doesn't paint the full picture. It just get to a point. I mean, to be honest, if I'm... Oh, hello. Another in there. Bullseye anyway for the match. Oh, Denise Cassidy. She took out the 1-4-8 earlier, but she's missed a match dart for a 130 now. Great dart. Double 12. Great guide. She hasn't made use of such guides in previous visits, and it's happened again to Hammond. She's been so good at sticking him just on the outside wire and cannot find a way to use her darts and find the targets. And that looks like it's blocking a big chunk of the double eight, and Denise doesn't know where to go. She goes left. 31. And it's too far left. Well, Lisa Ashton has just hit the winning double against Laura Turner. 4-2 to Ashton. Can Hammond hit the double that will force a last leg decider in this one? She can. Sure. We are going the distance. She trailed this match 3-0 herself to be a contender here. An absolutely incredible closing leg. Has taken a funny turn. And is not yet over. Well, there have been some strange old things happening on the doubles. There have been darts at double that I didn't think Corin could miss in the way that she'd lined up the markers outside. 43. But she misses there, and she's on this shot of nine now, which can get awkward. But that's a solid single one. Again, a good marker. Use it, Corin. One. She's got the wrong side of it again. Surely, surely this can't be one hit like this. Well, we've seen a 148 from Cassidy, and she had a dart for the match on the bullet 130, but she can't complete the 132. And Corin Hammond, who began this final leg with five perfect darts, just needs to find one to get it won. Game shot. And she does get the one she needs. Corin Hammond just about gets over the line. In this leg three on throw, Lisa wants a ton 40 to leave top. She should get it from there. She will get it from there. Oh, no, she's going to get 160 and leave herself on double 10. Does she get a go at it? 54. Now then, treble 14. Finds it for double top. A oh, wonderful rescue act from Fallon Sherrick after that faltering first start. Treble to double. Leaves 72. But hang about, Fallon Sherrick. Hang about, double top. Oh, just drags it down. It was a 160 setup from Lisa last time, and now she fires in yeah. a wayward dart, meaning she needs to rescue this on the ball. 47. Very nearly does. Well, is that the difference? Sherrick yeah. produces the rescue act. Lisa narrowly misses in her attempt, and it allows her opponent to pin the double ten. Of leaving herself on a double, and that's a strange choice by Fallon Sherrick. Left herself the bullseye when she didn't have to. Lisa Ashton has left herself the lesser seen double 17. Okay, six off, double 14. There's some strange numerical stuff going on in this leg. And unfortunately, Lisa Ashton finds herself staring down the barrel of a 4-1 defeat. Fallon Sherrick, just in the nine. Can she use that? 17. Not this time. It has been a recurring theme when she's faced Lisa this weekend here in Barnsley. It doesn't Game. split this time. She opts to throw straight at it and hits it. Means that Lisa may have to clear almost 200 points in two visits. 93. And again, it's a last dart treble that makes a big difference. Why not get two visits? Oh, my word, what a shot this would be. She just misses the bullseye on the 164 attempt. And Lisa Ashton comes back looking for 100 to stay in it 
and she can't find the first of the two tops she was going for. So it's match point for Fallon Sherrick. Missed two at double eight in the last leg. And misses two more for the match here. It is six match darts that Fallon Sherrick has blown and Lisa Ashton can force the last leg decider. 30. She misses the opportunity to do so. Well, that's a difficult dart. Steps across. Well, is there any way? Two. She gave it a good go. But it's now nine miss for the match for Fallon Sherrick. Ashton looking at double five. And yeah. she finds it to force that last leg shootout. We are going the full distance in this quarterfinal match that could have huge repercussions in this last leg. Just got to be clever with the counting. Well, she's going to leave a finish. 83. 83 off. Is that the best choice she could have made? She gambled on hitting another treble 20. And she'll come back looking at the 119. 82. Okay, treble 20. Would have given her a dart at double top, 59. but she doesn't get it. So Lisa Ashton will now have match darts. Does this get nervy? She survives an incredible nine, but only needs one match dart herself as Lisa Ashton takes out Fallon Sherrick here at Women's Series 10 and moves through to the semi-finals as she keeps her hunt for a spot at the Grand Slam. Counting up the numbers. Oh, I thought she did the maximum there. It was only a ton 40. Treble needed to leave a finish. No Gets problem. it to leave the biggest finish. Well, treble 20 can stay on the treble 20. And that leaves double eight for an 18 data. Game shot. Oops. She still looks good. Another in there. For an absolute showstopper. Double top. 120. Threatening the finish. Well, I've just given Anastasia something to think about here. She's only getting one dart a double. It's at the same target that she's just seen her opponent miss, but Gulliver returns with three in hand to turn around what was a two-leg deficit. That's a poor one. Double ten. And Trina should have had an extra dart for the leg there. It is a mistake. Right on the wire. And used to sneak it into the bottom corner and to sneak back ahead of Trina Gulliver in what is a very gripping semi-final contest. How about the 1-2-7? Treble 19. Doesn't get a dart at the bullseye, but no certainty that Anastasia will mop up seven. Yeah. Can't afford any errors with this one, so Gulliver will do her best to leave herself as handy as possible. 55. Big fat three. Not the treble, not the double, not left or right. There we go. And that leaves double two. No help. Five scored. And that's the Madhouse. Choices here. Treble 20, it looks like. Treble 12, she's gone for the Sherrick route. And now double top. And she finds it to tie it up at three apiece. A proper darting ding-dong between these two former world champions. If she missed the 20 segment there, she wouldn't have been. It might have to be a supersized checkout to save her skin in this semi final. 53. Anastasia potentially two darts away from the final. Can't find another in the treble 20, Trina, and it means that Anastasia should get matched darts. Yeah. Can't take that as a guarantee. 90. 
She should. She'll start on treble 20. She'll move to the 18 section. And now she needs the ball. 63. Rattled the ring. 20 for top. She took this out at the end of the 72 combo. And is that a help or a hindrance? Game shot. It does not matter because once again, Trina Gulliver finds her way past a blocker dart, pins double top from over on the left-hand side, and we are going the distance. Well, the 140 got Anastasia down to this finish. Gulliver also on a big three-figure checkout. 85. She may have to take it out. Trouble 20. Not going to go. And Anastasia, well, she's had a great view of Trina pulling out this exact shot 96. a couple of times in this match. Can she go single 20 for double top to nick it in a last leg decider? The first bit is done. And so is the next bit. Nerveless stuff from Anastasia de Bromislova, who registers yet another victory over Trina Gulliver, the Golden Girl, the 10 time ladies world champion, has shown she is competitive. She'll be com pro tour. 18. It's a long, long way off, and you can just see her sort of stretching her shoulder a little bit there. Lisa Ashton just feel less likely to make the same mistake and doesn't. 82. Just clips the wire and gives Dobromislova a chance. Had problems with tops and tens in the first leg. And it's up for fives again. 30. And it's the same problems. And Anastasia knew she needed to raise her game for this and she's just not been able to do it. Double two, double one, and Ashton lobs it over the dart in the single and have to learn to manage it. Obviously, two players have done that very well. Well, can Anastasia set this up? That is not what she wanted to see. 66. Oh, important last dart for her to give her a chance. Lisa Ashton could seal this in spectacular fashion, and she might just do it. 92. Is there a way back? A way in even? Well, not in this visit, and she has to rely on Lisa Ashton Three. missing. And nobody wants to make a career out of relying on Ashton missing anything. Double 10, and it's Ashton again as Lisa lands her fifth title at this year's Women's Series with a five-leg burst in the final. It will be quite soon. 32. Yeah, Fallon Cherrick playing the genie. Your wish is my command. It's been relentless stuff. 99. From this sporting superstar. It could complete a perfect run of 15 dart legs to seal the deal. 40. Treble 18. Well, it's not going to be another 90. 15 darter. It could be a 16 dart. It will drag the average just below 100, but who cares? It has been so efficient, this, from Fallon Sherrick. 42. And Courtney Hine has not been given a look in. Double 16. Double 8. Expertly done from Fallon Sherrick. So good, but it's so wild. Denying Katie match darts there. Well, in every single game of darts, two become one. Game and it's the one and the match. going through is Katie Sheldon. A 4-0 success. Donald lead. 28. Not able to apply any pressure. Margaret Sutton for a spot in the last 16 as she looks to impede lead. 
And that's what she does. Margaret Sutton for once is up. Donald lead is down. Somebody tell the spotter. Gulliver will get a look at the 71 for match darts of her own. Should get at least one. 14s. Double top. Gives herself a moment. It's been a love-hate relationship with this double in this game for Trina. And she'll love that because Trina Gulliver, the 10-time world champion, manages to survive five match darts. Include a couple of World Masters titles, endless titles all across the world. If you added it all up, I'm pretty sure that she could have won as much as anybody in this game. Is she going to take this out? No, she's not. But she is going to leave herself well placed. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an astonishing level of success over such a long period. And we'll return to that in a moment because this leg is not going to be one with the 161 for Lisa Ashton. Dita Hedman has left herself on 16 here after 15 darts. And if this goes in the next visit, she'll be 2 0 up in a race to four on the great Lisa Ashton and averaging a ton. She may be able to use that. And she does to double her advantage against Ashton in a week's time. We'll be back a week tomorrow here in Barnsley, live on PDC TV for the conclusion of this year's Pro Tour, where some players will miss out on places at the Players' Championship, the World Championship, and indeed will lose their professional status. Dieter Hedman, treble 17. Go on, Dieter, finish it with a 161. Why don't you? Why don't you? Oh, worth a go. What a way to win it it would have been. You can imagine what was going through her head then. I think it was just on a loop. Shall I? Shall I? And once again, Ashton rams in a 171, but this time doesn't get her down to a finish. Well, she should have gone for it, but it is a third consecutive 171, and Dieter Hedman punishes on double 19. That is a vintage performance from Dieter Hedman. Both women averaging 90. Lisa Ashton will not add to her title haul. It's as if you're just saying any old thing to fill the space. Of course she'll get it. It's obvious. That was unlucky, wasn't it? Yeah, he you see, what happens is, it's a little commentator's trick I'll let you into. You can keep making these bold predictions because the ones that get clipped up for social media aren't the ones where you get it wrong. Good point. I think she'll go straight for the ball when she comes back. After this 180. 180. Now then. Murph gets it wrong again. Boo. But Fallon gets it right. It is 4-0 and she's a leg away from yet another final. Well, she's a little bit closer than Rachel Brooks, but Rachel Brooks gets the first look at this. They're both on two dart checkouts. Does she stay on the 60? She's gone tops, tops. 60. And the first one was there. The second one couldn't follow. Fallon Sherrick completes a 5-0 victory against Rachel Brooks to reach yet another final here at the Women's Series. If she win in the other matches away from the limelight and away from the Elite Two. Yeah, certainly. And, and you know, going in the streaming boards, that's a big thing for, for a lot of players. They don't always get a chance to 
to play being broadcast around the world as Dieter puts in the perfect setup shot of 177 to leave 24 after just 12 darts. Fallon on a bogey number and Dieter looking to level the match. Double 12 after 12. Score. Now double six, just checking with the referee, doing the right thing. If he wasn't sure where that dart had landed, but she's certain where that one has. Make sure I do leave a finish. Ended up having to hit a treble and did. Edmund hasn't, so won't be taking out a big shot. Where does she leave this? 100. Yeah, good last start, much like the one we've just seen from Fallon. Well, Dieter will get a look at the 58 to level this match up for a fourth consecutive hold of throw, and she is holding her own here against Fallon Sherrick. Fifty-eight to deny Sherrick a shot at sixty-eight. Double twenty. Right on the wire. Has to go left. Eighteen. Goes left, but goes too close, too high. Sherrick has the chance here to put some daylight between her and Dieter Hedman. She's been so good at that particular checkout all the way through this weekend. First dart into the treble 20. She's already got the weighted dart. It's the same height for the double four. She just adjusts the line and this weekend. Okay, treble 14. Just a little low in both cases. Dragging it into the four, then dragging it into the treble 11. Best run Six. of the weekend for Dieter Hedman. Can she prolong it at least for an extra few minutes? Maybe tops, tops. Oh, she stayed there. She couldn't find the treble. And now Sherrick can seal another victory. 11 women's series events, nine finals. And yet another title for Fallon Sherrick. It is a superb sixth for the Queen of the Palace. She's already achieved her main objectives. All that's left this weekend is winning. But she is winning and winning and winning. One might be about to be put to bed. As Mikuru once again looks to take out the 60 checkout. And again gives herself a great marker. And again pulls it low. Match dart missed by Mikuru Suzuki. But she is going to get more. Can't chain. Leave us on a high. It's the hope that kills you. 41. Our hope's about to be ended. Yes, Game they are. Game. Suzuki finishes the job. Now Jane Biggs can console herself with the fact that she took a leg off the two-time and reigning world champion. But it's perhaps found another level. But I think she's also illustrated that she does have something to offer. No, absolutely. It's another decent visit. It's a couple of hundreds followed by a 95 to leave 86. She's going to get a go at it. Maybe we're not seeing 49. the last few moments of Sakaguchi's stay in Barnsley here. Could it be another dart at the bullseye for a combo finish? It's better than that. It's double 16 for a level game and to take us to a decider. It's a long way off, but it's not in the way of the double eight. 70. But that's a long way off. Struggled with doubles at the start of this match. Joe Locke struggled with a single there. But she does get a dart at tops to win. And she does win. Joe Locke sees off UK Sakaguchi, who has been a good addition to the Women's Series this weekend. She should bang in the final nail in the life of Laura Turner for the Women's Series. 12. She can't nail a double. More match darts missed. Laura Turner, a chance here. Does she go double-double? No, she's looking up. 
can't find the trouble 14. And I think she feels that the game is now up because Lisa Ashton, more opportunities for a quarterfinal spot. Double two, the target. Double two is hit. And the four-time ladies world champion eases to a 4-1 victory against Laura Turner. It condemns Laura to finish outside of the top eight in the order of merit. So if she's going to Q school, she'll be paying for it. Lisa Ashton is setting her sights firmly on yet another title here. This weekend, overall, Robin Byrne is just outside the top 16, top 20. I mean, it's creditable. 60. And it's only uh, a couple of wins away from pushing into that top 16. 48. Yeah, let's not forget she's only 24 years of age, so certainly has time on her side. The more competitive dart she plays, the more she's likely to improve. Yeah, and she's up against a, a woman here who does have a vast amount of experience playing on the biggest stages in women's darts. And Corinne Hammond has used that experience to the full. She's averaging in the mid 80s here. It's one of her better performances of the women's series. And she's got double eight to seal it expertly with a 17 data. And the Australian Corinne Hammond is through to the semi-finals. She the miracle to reach the final for the loss of just one leg in the entire tournament. Double 16. 69. Well, the miracle not yet through, but when Stanley needs something akin to a miracle to turn it around, starting with a whopper of a checkout, which isn't going to go, so Suzuki can return to make it 20 legs on the spin 99. in reaching the final. Double 16. Next door. And a second final of the weekend for the miracle, Mikuru Suzuki. Hasn't dropped a leg in this tournament in her last 20 legs. A remarkable run in reaching this final. She's been the best player in this final tournament, has a marginally better average than Lisa Ashton across the five matches they've played each so far. But Ashton is looking for a stunning start. Yeah, and misses double 15 to take the opening leg. So a single 20 for tops for Suzuki to carry on that remarkable run. And it's yeah, 21. Yeah. On she goes, Makuru Suzuki. Once unable to attempt to finish. One hundred and forty. Does the next best thing. Oh, it could get tricky. This double nine, excellent dart from Makuru Suzuki. There didn't have much margin for error, but now it's both players in similar territory. But crucially, Lisa Ashton has thrown three more darts in this leg. Ninety-five. Suzuki could from seemingly nowhere. I mean, we know how good she is. She's not a two-time world champion, having won the last two women's world championships for no reason. But she could go through this tournament dropping just two legs. And she's almost there. A brilliant 90 checkout for a break of throw for Makuru. It's match point for Makuru Suzuki. Excellent dart, double top. 77. Well, two missed to add a name to the roll of honor. Kudos to Lisa Ashton yeah, for being in this final at this stage after such a long, tough week. It's her and Fallon Sherrick that go to the Grand Slam, that go to the World Championship. 15. And perhaps, perhaps she will still win this final. Five darts missed for the match by Makuru Suzuki. And Lisa Ashton needs tops to break her heart. 100.
dominance from Ashton and Sherrick at the Women's Series. Game but this up. is Makuru's moment as Suzuki succeeds in sealing a title at the Women's Series. She breaks the dominant spell of Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick.